This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Crazy Fireball Anomaly in the Star of Bethlehem Christmas Conjunction at Rover at the SpaceWeather.com. And the first thing we're going to look at, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, they always have the All Sky Fireball Network, which I pull pictures of from often. And they usually look like this, or like that, or like that. And like this. But today when I looked at it, it looked like this. What the hell, man? Did Orion fire his bow and shoot an arrow right past Earth? If it did, I guess it's kind of cool that, like, he shot it right past us and, and, and didn't. It hurt us, it just nicked the atmosphere, so uh, thanks Ryan for being cool, I wish I'd been out there to see Ryan's era. Oh, maybe it was a spaceship, galaxy jumping, probably not though, because everybody knows spaceships have to refuel at the sun. It didn't go by the sun. Unless it was super technology and its gasoline tank was full already. Man, that's a, that's a hell of an orbit, man. And it seems to cross the orbital planes, which is kind of odd. It's right by Earth. Exactly where Earth is. Maybe it's a computer generated lens artifact. I don't know. Alright, you tell me. I'm dumb. I'm as dumb as it come. Alright, now we're looking over at above the Christmas conjunction. I shall now read for you. Christmas Conjunction According to some scholars, the Star of Bethlehem might have been a close encounter between Venus and Jupiter. Two brightest planets in the night sky merged would have made a spectacle of blue, blue proportions. Would have made a spectacle of biblical proportions. This Christmas, NASA's Stereo B probe is observing a conjunction of three planets Venus, Earth, and Jupiter. Well, unlike conjunctions of the distant past, this one includes our home planet. Stereo B is located on the far side of the sun where it can look back and see Earth along with the other worlds in the solar system. Only NASA's twin stereo probes equipped with their high dynamic range Heliospheric imagers can witness this kind of conjunction. Wait, hell on. So are they saying that uh, the wise men of Bethlehem were hanging out in outer space where Stereo B usually hangs? Don't make no dang sense, man. Don't make no dang sense at all. The scholars must be from NASA, which means they are right. 
that's always right, even when they're wrong. I got people from NASA prank call me on the phone. Like, hey, dumbass. They said, give me come the century, dumbass. Ha ha. I feel to be the poster child for comedies and fail. I'm like, man, you guys are mean. Don't play fair. All right, back to reading. From Cheryl B's point of view, Earth and Jupiter are less than 0.5 degrees apart. While all three planets fit into a circle three degrees in diameter, this meaning is not nearly as tight as the putative what that if star of Bethlehem conjunction 2,000 years ago? Wait, don't they mean 2,033 years ago? At the time, Venus and Jupiter could have been as little as six arc seconds. I see what they do there. Point oh oh. One, six, 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 apart. Nevertheless, the ongoing congestion is still a beauty. Stay tuned for updates as the three planets converge. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm depressed. I can't find my funny. Ice is dead. I still haven't gotten a hug. In mass, a prank calling is not fun. I mean, I, I can take it, but they take it too far. I can take it, but you take it too far. Yeah, baby. Alright, so, that's that. I go with the ball back. No, it's not. I pulled the professional science there and said one thing when I met another. We're going to end this with the Jupiter, Earth, Venus conjunction and the space invader in the sun. Saying hello, hello space invader, hello space invader. And now that's not a giant spaceship in the sun, that is obviously a lens flare parallax. Artifacts, nasty, heebie jeebie, flippity floppy, floby, diggity doody. Yep, that's what that is. That is not a space invader. So you do not need to be worried that we are about to be invaded by space. Man, I hope I get my funny back for Christmas. I wish for a hug, but hey, we know how much that's whatever. God bless everyone.
my Cheerios. You.